one of the things that you know, in our whole way of working has been to back up this process to its kind of most um, basic and incremental steps. So, you know, we don't assume necessarily that a any particular ability um, as people come into our work. Um, and so one of the things that we, you know, I think we understood or we learned was that um, actually the, our focus is to have people describe the details of their lives. When you use the word story, there, uh, there are a bunch of things that seem to be implied by that, a certain kind of structure, first of all a certain kind of breadth, a certain kind of perhaps seriousness or point or uh, specialness. Like I wouldn't, uh, you know, my story has to, it has to, go, it has to be like that. Um, and actually what, one, the place that we start is to, is to say, describe your kitchen. You know, in the process of someone doing that, then it turns out that just in that process, they start to reveal themselves. So for example, if I'm t telling about my, my kitchen, describing my kitchen, it's not too long before I'm saying to you, well, actually, uh, my partner, Chin, is control of the kitchen, <laughs> and he just barely lets me into the room, you know? Um, and if I use any pronouns, you're not quite sure, Chin, is that a man or a woman? But pretty soon you figure out, oh, my partner is a man. So just by talking about my, my kitchen, I come out to you. So that's part of the kind of this wisdom of talking about the, the, the details of people's lives, and that's where we start. Um, and you know, what we keep, I think what we keep learning is that people, they just want to, they want to be heard, they want to be witnessed, and part of our structure is to make sure people have time for that. Um, you talk, uh, and I listen, mm -hmm. and then we trade. Um, and even just that change in the structure, it's not a conversation, but we d we're going to take turns and you're just going to listen to me for a while. And I find for myself that, like I may not have a need to tell my story, but I have stuff to share that I'm experiencing, that I'm thinking about, that I'm, mm -hmm. that, you know, whatever, that it's just interesting to me to have someone else, it's in interesting for me to be able to say it, and in that process I might learn something from it. So again, because our, our process starts with the creative process as opposed to the, uh, the imagination, first of all. So it's not like, okay, I'm going to figure out my story, then I'm going to tell it to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start, and I'm going to see where that takes me. You know, so I, I may not know where it, it takes me. Uh, and that's part of the revelation is, oh, well, where did this story go? Um, As we start to hear stories, then we st obviously we start to learn more about each other at that really basic level, and we start to create connection. Um, so it's like now we know each other a little bit better, and because of the structure, we tend to go. We do tend to go further in, so we're not just starting with the niceties of conversation. We're saying something specific. It may not be terribly personal, but it's going to be specific, um, and it's going to lead somewhere. So. The, the, create, the, the creating the connection is a really, I think, important part, whether that's just in a two-person thing or whether it's with an audience or uh, you know, a small group or whatever. Um, and then it's out of that that we start to make these bigger meanings. Um, but that's not always where we start. We know, okay, I, this is something I want to tell you about. I know that much, uh, or that I might tell you about. It doesn't even have to have a huge amount of intention to it. Um, or impulse, um, but I have something that I'm going to share with you, um, maybe because of a prompt, maybe because I've just chosen, uh, and something comes up. And for some reason, that's the thing that comes up. So um, there must be something to that, and let's look at that. Let's just notice. So that's the other thing that we do. We do these things, and then we notice. What, what happened when I said that? What did I, what came up? Was I surprised at what I said? Uh, was I surprised at what my partner said? Or what did I hear in what my partner said? Or how did we connect? All those things happen in that process of telling stories. So it's another way to elicit, uh, elicit information in our, both our own and other people's. Um, you know, I think it, it's, uh, first of all, it's an end in itself. Uh, so our process is incremental. I would say that all of the steps are, can have power and meaning. Uh, but it's also where we're headed, uh, so there's something about what becomes possible when we first start on, out on these little steps. And um, you know, my feeling about stories is that 
is that we have been taught to be really careful about our words, um, and we're really a little bit nervous about the judge judge part of that. And the metaphor I often use, it's like you know the place where we where we construct our words um, and our judge, those are like really close together, like, um, you know, motel, sometimes you're in a motel room and there's actually a door between your room and the next room and it's locked, but you like never know when it's gonna fly open. And it's kind of like that, I think, with storytelling. It's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make words, I'm gonna put some words together, but the judge could come out and rah. Um, so first of all, we're just teaching people to be easy around words and playing with words um, as, you know, here's, here's a thing. You can play with your words, and we, um, uh, and so we're doing all those little steps, and even and, the, and the, even the first steps are often amusing and interesting and entertaining. But we're also getting people to the place where they really can tell the important stories, you know, the stories that need to be told, the stories that have, you know, a, a big heart connection, the stories that are the things that are on our mind, you know, whatever those might be. I mean, they don't have to be. They don't have to be big and meaningful, but they can be. Um, so, really, what we're trying to do is, you know, ultimately, is get to this place where we have the freedom, you know, to have what comes out of telling a story and having someone else witness it, which is, you know, a powerful thing. Sometimes that's all we need is for someone to hear, mm -hmm. hear the story. You don't have to, you know, give me your advice about what I might have done, or you don't have to. It doesn't. You don't have to do anything necessarily. It was. It's just helpful if I can just say it and to have someone else there to witness it. So, um, you know, there are, you know, what, what, we, what we think are a million benefits to, to being able to do that um, that are both simple and profound from just it's fun, which is great. I had a good time. I, I filled up three minutes <laughs> and, you know, I wasn't mortified. Um, Success! And, and that's a something. And then this uh, much longer arc to our work, which is really, I'm, I'm paying attention to the way that my body works. I'm learning what my own body wisdom is. I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to use that to construct, you know, my own life and try it and whatever effect that has on the lives around me, which we hope is a positive thing. And our approach means that we're open to the mystery of the process, right? We're opening up that stories are coming out of a place that we don't always know what it is. So when it comes straight through the body, um, we, we, keep it, we keep a safe space by making it short enough. Yeah. <laughs> and by telling people, you know, you get to start and you, we practice these things. Start, begin, we'll 30 end. seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah. Like you don't have to go on and on and there's not a lot of pressure around the subject matter. As people get used to that, then this uprising of and mystery of what words and language and thoughts and ideas and meaning are trying to say is an opening to mystery. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do a lot of it. So yes. it's not just one, like I don't just have one chance to tell one right. story. We're actually probably in a particular situation, we'll have several opportunities to be. And again, uh, I don't think when we teach, we say, now get ready, we're going to open the mystery. <laughs> you know, it's like, wait, sometimes opposite. I say that <laughs> when I'm teaching this form as an introduction, you know, a, a telling process. And that's, I emphasize telling when I talk about it rather than the language of story. Um, I just, you know, say some of the best part of this is no, me noticing what I'm telling, not being worried so worried about what the person what you're hearing, my partner, but what comes to me? And the fact then that there's actually choices that I get to make. Um, so I can learn to craft right from the beginning. Do I want to say that? I have a choice. Mm -hmm. Choice for me is a dynamic of play. Mm -hmm. uh, right. To be able to see what I want to do to play with it mm. rather than just a bleh, you yeah, know. And then that cr it's the craft that also <laughs> elicits different information. Yeah. So if I know that I have, I might have my words, but I might also have sounds, I might have singing, I might have, I might be combining movement with that. Um, and all those things are, all those things are possible. And when I use those things, how does it change what comes out um, or, or how it's perceived? Um, and so that, again, there's a lot more range and more to learn from, more to notice, 
um, as well as just the kind of delight of making things, of creating things, and which seeing is... seeing people make things, yeah. which is more entertaining than watching most television, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so that delight, you know, the delight of creating, we, all, we talk a lot about focusing on creating. This is what, this, this is what we're gonna do. We're coming together, we're gonna create. It might be healing, we know that it is, um, but that's not where we put our focus. Um, we put our focus on what, what are we making? What's, this, what's the story or what's the dance or what's the song or what's the way we combine all those things together? Um, or as we sing together, you know, how, whatever it is that we're doing, we're gonna pay attention to what we're, uh, what we're creating. And, and that's just fun, you know, for, for the people who like to create. Mm -hmm.